Hello everyone, someone sent me a message and asked me how to model uh, these kind, these complex shape in, in Matrix Gold or Rhino. In this tutorial, I wanted to teach you how to make it. It looks complex, but uh, actually is not complex. It's easy. Just uh, you need to understand uh, how to split it in small parts and then uh, what was it before flowing? What was, what was that? And then uh, step by step you will understand and you can use this technique that I wanted to teach you now uh, and make a lot of different kind of shapes, okay? So what is it? What, what it is? It's a mathematical, it's a mathematical surface uh, that uh, uh, we can call it a Seifert, Seifert surfaces, okay? It's a kind of, uh, because of one German uh, mathematician uh, find out uh, about 100 years ago find out about these kind of surfaces and they made it and uh, so they call it uh, because of uh, this uh, uh, mathematician they call it uh, the serif uh, surfaces okay and we have uh, we have a boundary here we have a curve here what is it they, we call it three for knot a three for knot uh, a three for knot is the boundary of Mobius band with three half uh, twists. Okay, so I'm sure you know about the Mobius uh, Mobius uh, band 100%. Um, <laughs> One time you did before before this video, and I want to make it uh, much more uh, uh, difficult. Actually, in this kind of shape, it's much more difficult than just one twist that we do in Mobius uh, strip or Mobius band. Okay, so let's start it. Uh, first of all, I wanted to show you how to make trefoil, uh, trefoil knot because uh, they are connected to each other. What I need to do, first of all, I have to make a, a very close similar shape uh, the, the overall shape. I want to make uh, first the overall shape. So it's, it's a kind of triangle, right? It's a kind of, it has a triangular shape, okay? So how I make it a very smooth triangular shape, I make one circle. I just move it a little bit and then I rebuild it to four points. Uh, in degree 3 and as you know when we have a degree 3 curve uh, the minimum number of the control points must be uh, plus 1 so if the degree is uh, a 3 the minimum is 4 okay so we can yes 10 so I just need to a little bit then move it a little bit up a little bit just make just similar that's it okay just a little bit similar and then i have to use length command to find out uh to find out what is the length of curve so is 65.104 okay so i make a line 65.104 perfect line both sides on just make very small line and then sweep one okay it's wide i want to make it more okay perfect and then go to transform menu and then we can use the twist command. Normal twist, I don't want to use parametric. That is a very uh, amazing feature in metric code. But I want, now I want to use the normal twist. Okay, so select the surface, select the axis. Okay, define the axis. So I want to uh, uh, I want to have a twist in all, overall in overall shape from start to end of surface go change my view to front and then so this is three half 
twist. So it means that three, I, I need three times 180 twist. Okay, so shift, I want to I wanna turn on auto, click. So one, two, and then three. Uh, to be, uh, please be sure that the uh, infinite option is yes. Okay, it's very important. Click. And then we have it. Okay, it looks like a DNA. Okay. So now we just need to use flow along, surf, flow along curve. Click this, click base curve, and click the uh, uh, destination uh, or the target curve. Okay, and that's it. You know, now we are very close to shape. And just to clean it, uh, just to clean up the surface, I want to duplicate H. Okay, and then press Enter. I delete my surface and also I change the color of this curve, the middle one, and then hide it. And now, as you can see, this is trefoil. Uh, this is trefoil knot. If I join it, just rebuild it with uh, maybe, I don't want um, uh, too much deviation, so I can maybe 20 or 90, okay, and then I pipe it, 3, more, 4, you can see, this is trefoil knot. Okay, we call it trefoil knot. It's very popular in uh, mathemat uh, in mathematics. Okay, so actually we made it already. So I uh, undo. So I, I don't join anymore, and then I rebuild both curves to 90 is too much, I think. If, uh, because I have a lot of control points, I will get a lot of control points, so maybe 10, I don't want, also, I want to care about uh, deviation, so, okay, fine. And then, I just need to loft, 1, 2. Okay, great, perfect. Uh, just uh, the only difference is uh, uh, these curves goes inside so I have to just uh, mirror copy no so as you can see these curves goes inside okay this goes inside perfect okay and then again I do loft because uh, I did mirror and mirror uh, um, definitely uh, it broke my history so I wanted to loft again and now you can see this curve I just changed the okay these curves goes inside as you can see and this is also go this the only things you need to do now is uh, just follow uh, uh, this uh, uh, this boundary okay so it's not uh, actually you have to clean it up then because now you have the overall shape and just you bring it down a little bit you bring it down these two okay you need a guideline you need a guideline you need this photo and then you need uh, you just need to make it here goes here and then try to make it you now yes uh if you just copy these um under your uh, your surface you can follow this shape okay and i just do one pipe pipe maybe three no one pipe a cap no I don't want because I need a surface I just want to make it like this one no more two 
1.5. Yeah, you can see. It's exactly just you need to make your surface and that's it. And then uh, what we need to do, I wanted to show you. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. You just need to clean it up. And then you can see this triangle is very smaller than this one. You just need to close the curves and uh, make it uh, looks like similar to this surface. Okay. Oh, thank you so much uh, and have a great day.